Personal log, no me Laporte. Okay, okay. Karen gave me this uh, herbal tea. It's really relaxing. Smoke and Grim told me the other Yancey pilots call her mom. Karen's are trying to calm me down. Her efforts haven't helped as much as Oflumi's. He let me beat the crap out of him in the gym. I needed it. They killed an elder. He shot her ship right out from under her, then pinned the blame on us. And the Vizunes bought it. They bought it. Pause log. The curse of Ubuntu. Obsession with what my father called Sataya. The truth. At last, it's working for me. Like Kasim, I started this war believing I had no claim to the moral high ground of the Terran General Assembly was as genuinely concerned for the fate of mankind as we are, but this war is the product of human imperfection and miscommunication. I believe in the fundamental humanity of our enemy. I fought a war without hate. Their fundamental humanity. What a joke that she even stole it from them. Yes! I know this because it would take a monster to order the assassination of an elder or something. What Steel Order was not Sataya was not the truth. It was an atrocity. Her single life was not worth more than any other, but what she stood for, peace, diplomacy, the rule of law, those ideals that should have been invincible. I am almost ready to hate them. My darkest dreams asked me to burn the Tevs from the face of the cosmos. It would be easy to give in to that, but no, not yet. I won't let myself hate them, no matter how much Sims might want me to. Somehow we're going to save the Federation, and we're not going to do it by turning into the Tevs. Puck, Logos, and Vader outside. They want to ask me what happened. I'm going to tell them what I saw. So, when do I get to see that document? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I've just returned from a conference with the Taper and the other War God captains. The situation is grim. Deep Range Recon report that the Basuna logistical train is gearing up. Since the planes are pouring through the node and steals Jovian depots, we can't attack the Basuna supply convoys without escalating the war, war further. Without pressure on his logistics, Steel's final attack on Earth could happen within weeks instead of months. Our gains are in danger of slipping away. Admiral Calder and the Tebra have decided to take aggressive, direct action. We prove that we can eliminate the Terran Destroyer. We can deal a critical blow to Tev morale and political support. Our target is the GTD Carthage. Okay, this won't work. Do you remember a couple missions ago when you mentioned they, they can take a Destroyer loss? Like, I get it. The Carthage is a big deal. It's old as friggin' dirt. The Carthage is an Orion class destroyer that saw service during the second Shivan incursion. Although her space frame is obsolete, she has been refitted with a combat evaluation as a combat evaluation unit destroyer. We believe the Carthage mounts a prototype tactical subspace drive that allows it to make rapid, sequential, short range jumps akin to the capabilities of the Arteus. Initially, her weapon systems have been upgraded to modern standards, and her hull has been reinforced with Molly Bendium plating. An experimental reactive armor that grants her enhanced resilience against artillery, art, artillery weapons and torpedoes. Admiral Steel employs the Carthage as a raider and a base for aggressive fighter and bomber deployments. The destroyer's impressive firepower makes it a difficult target. Projections indicate that we need to, to engage at least four frigates to guarantee a kill without warship losses. We believe. Uh, we must carry out this operation without significant casualties in order to maintain our momentum. Fortunately, we have a critical edge. A source inside the GTDA, who has provided us with tactical information on the Carthage upcoming operations and a psychological profile of Carthage commander. This is the same source that gave us the Agincourt, and, and he or she has come through again. We know exactly how to hit them. Based on the forum posts, it is suggested that this source is the rear admiral that took over um, after. Admiral Bay defected. Admiral information on Admiral and Tia Lopez has been added to your tech room database. I'll summarize the salient points. Admiral Lopez is a veteran GTBA officer decorated for heroism during the second chief incursion during her actions as acting CEOs of Carthage. She commands a remarkable degree of respect and loyalty from her crew and her crew of her battleship's group. Psychological analysis suggests she displays a transformational leadership profile characterized by intense personal bonds between herself and her subordinates. We intend to exploit this mutual loyalty to draw Lopez into a trap. Our sources inside the GTP Bay tells the Carthage Vow Group will disperse to attack targets throughout the asteroid belt tomorrow. The Carthage itself will remain in reserve along with the 
Lilanthi, Diandra, Leander, Legionary, Joke, Sue, System, Grism, Enor, Norfolk, and Warnus, along with multiple squadrons. Devastate belt mining, manufacturing, and processing platforms. Lost of these facilities will cut our shipyard output in half. This presents us with a golden opportunity. Captain Sims, I have forwarded our tactical plan for the destruction of the Carthage for your inspection. You will leave the War God's fighter elements in a critical role before the main attack. This will be our riskiest operation yet, but it may destroy the GTVA's political will. This could be our Tet Offensive, our Siege of Yorktown, or Battle of Algiers. No, it's going to be our Alamo. Bear in mind that our, our source in the GTA will probably be found in the next few months become clear that Carthage battle plans were leaked. We have responsibility to this unknown hero to pull us off. As the elders would say, for humanity and for the people we've lost, let's do this. Federation Pods reference. Uriel Gunship. Heavily armed and armored strike craft designed for anti-warship assault and fair, heavy fighter suppression. Reverse thrust and reverse afterburner capability. Three primary banks without fire link option. First bank is two fire points for a specialist weapon such as the scalpel or gatler. Second bank is six fire points for dogfight weapons such as the rapier. Third bank mounts the archer goss cannon for long range anti turret attack. Automatic fast tracking, independently targeting Vulcan provides light anti fighter defense. Three secondary weapons provide tactical flexibility. Slammer suppression warheads recommended for anti bomber, anti fighter tasking. Paveway bombs recommended for anti warship duty. Dark heat seeking missiles ride rapid acquisition dogfight engagement ability. Lots of really long words to say I get a new shiny ship. Eyes up! As you know, what Laporte and I saw in Elder Gun Down is part of a political ploy. The Tevs are playing our own allies as fools. But now we're going to turn the tables on them. Now we're going to show them just what kind of punishment we can dish out. Is that clear? Damn straight it is. Okay, she's gone nuts. At, oh, why so early? The Antinor will jump and attack the Sephoron and Tata Tatabanya stations, a fuel storage site for the for the belt mining ships. Uh, central personnel were evacuated months ago, but the station still remains the crew. Seven hundred civilians, seven hundred civilian workers each. We're going to jump in a small force and disable the Antinor. We will not destroy it. We will not present an overwhelming threat. We will not take out her comm systems. We're just going to slip in and leave the Antinor helpless, using a small enough force that we don't see much of a threat. We're going to let the Antinor start crying for assistance. When the Antor is called for help, we'll disable her comms, and then we'll bring in more war gods, including a special asset contributed by Admiral Cadvier's Jovians. Admiral Lopez of the Carthage, a woman who cares deeply for those under her command, will scramble a jump five human warship to assist the engineer they'll walk into our trap. Since any good trick is worth pulling twice, we'll take out the five fighters and disable the warship too. Now that the warship should be destroyed, we want to take the prisoners if we can. Oh god, we're becoming pricks. Once the jump five warships have an added to our little graveyard, we'll use the capabilities of that special asset I mentioned. The the human, Hanuman. They wax like the Anasia that saved us from the secret team back during the Agincourt extraction. The Hanuman will jam up for distress calls from disabled UTBA warships. We will doubtless warn the Carthage away and replace them with edited versions that beg Admiral Lopez for help. The Hanuman will also be able to intercept incoming transitions and even anticipate the arrival of hostile warships. It will allow us the forewarning we need to pull off the last stage of our plan. Faced with the capture or death of so many of her beloved subordinates, all pledging for her help, pleading for her help, Admiral Lobos brings Carthage in to, con to conduct a gallant rescue. Unfortunately for her, the Katana and Elton Ord and Jovian half of the War God's frigate forces will be waiting in the wings to jump in and blow the hell out of Carthage. If the Carthage withdraws using its tactical drive, the Hanuman will track its exit vector, and the Yancey and Indus will pursue it. One way or another, that ship's going down. Spoiler alert! I bet, well, not spoiler, I bet the Carthage is going to jump out anyway, we're going to be giving chase. This is a delicate and complicated plan. Delicate and complex is not, perhaps not exactly our style, but we can do finesse, but we must, can't we, War Gods? Laporte, you'll be leading the initial disarm operation on, oh, God damn it! I recommend aerial gunships, use your archers and paveways and precision strikes. Karen and Beta will give you escort. I know you two trust each other. Oh, Karen, I love you. 
Uh, your strike package will use the call sign Ozone. I'll roll in my own gunship since you're disarmed and disabled the Antinor. Be quick or she'll slip away. One last note. Saving the crews of Tabanya and Sopron is not a priority. I'm afraid those civilians are expendable. You know, ma'am, you didn't need to say that. Anyway. It's a heavy assault. 60... Average maneuverability, heavy armor, nine gun mounts, three missile banks, one torch, Storm Rider. Very nice manufacturer name. I'm going to go with whatever stock loadout they give us because that's probably the best thing for it. Heavy damage. Oh, are you fucking shitting me? Man, <laughs> that sucked. Alright, let's roll out again. Um. Yeah, maybe I'll let them keep doing what they're doing. They're gonna go after a turret. I'm gonna go after engines. Let's lob a pair of paveways at you from a distance. And let's. Whoops, nope, nope. Let's swap to the archers. The strength in this fighter comes from the fact that I can lob things at it from a distance. There's no need for me to get closer than 3,000 meters. No! Maybe a little closer than 3,000 meters. God damn it, Beta Wing. Music sounds great. Let's see if we can save these people. Get this bandit off me. Who's shooting at me? All right. That's done. This arm is Alright. Single fire paveways, please. Fire. Shit, man. Wait, wait. One station is down. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Good. You can't hit back now. Oh, disregard! You still can't hit back. Disable and comms. Thank you. Where are your comms at? <laughs> Why would you put your comms in the nose? Uh, where's support ship?
Thank you, friend. Yes! I just wish I could have done that a little sooner. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Ha ha! No checks it reports them wonders for Karen. She's really bad at cards. Cut the chatter and give me a sit rep, ladies. We're fucked, ma'am. <laughs> this is a trap. It's gonna go horribly wrong any second now. Uh. We could have done something for them. I just wasn't good enough. <laughs> I'll definitely... Uh oh. I, I'm definitely going to... Um... Replay this mission after I successfully complete it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. God, Sims, why do you have to put it that way? And the music's great. Alright. What do we have here? Hello, friends! Oh no 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 no! Not not and then oh! Someone do something about those fighters, please. We need to. I've made a very, very big error. Welcome, bidding on engines. Thank you, Puck. Where are my afterburns? Son of a dick. I'm just gonna keep my distance from this guy, cause... I don't like fighting Aeolus. I think they're a sexy little cruiser. Excellent. Where is the weapon system on this? Distance from this thing. Jeez. Baby missiles are away. I don't feel sorry about it. Oh, Karen, I love you. Oh, Karen. Don't die. And I'm the... And I'm the only assault thing left. That's great.
Uh, Karen, you misunderstand me. What I feel is arousal, <laughs> not not anxiety. Ooh. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, look at that kind of more gray paint job on the Carthage. Love it. Of course you are. You are so far away. What am I supposed to do? Eek, that. Uh-huh, all right. Systems are down. I need support here. Cac Cacta Pratt. That's appropriate. Wasn't Cacta Pratt like a... Was it? Yeah, was it Kaka Kaka Pratt like a, an Egyptian horse thing, and Carthage wasn't that an ancient mythology thing? Where is the katana? Right there. Why are you telling her to surrender? Just shoot! Where is the engine? Never mind. I am. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> that was satisfying. Yeah, of course that was going to happen. I will... Her crash jump trajectory will snag on Saturn's gravity well. She's trapped there until she recharges. Okay, so are we going to go after her or what? Oh, that's a pretty shot. Pass those coordinates. End this. Yaxi War Gods jump home. Dock ASCP. You're going after Carthage. We'll join the attack as soon as our drives have cycled. So I got to land on the... Indus, I think. There you are. No, I. The end. This isn't here. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Is this a red alert mission? I feel like it should be a red alert mission. We're rolling at the Carthage at Saturn in five minutes. If you want to alter your loadouts or ship choice, tell the deck crew right now. I'll brief you in the hangar deck. We launch and jump after the Carthage. Recommendations. Here we go, here we go. 